Assalamu alaikum and greeting. Let's talk about next task is inside the infinitely long conductor where magnetic permeability is the approximately the same as the magnetic permeability of air with circle cross section of radius A there is constant current I so we have our conductor with circle cross section with the current I and the radius A and we need to determine energy of magnetic field inside our conductor and inductance of conductor. So, how do we calculate the energy of magnetic field inside a conductor? Well, here is, firstly, we must calculate energy density of magnetic field, which is calculated with this formula. So, we need to find our B as a function of R, as a function of distance from the center of our conductor. And then we simply do the volume integral of energy density of magnetic field. And when we put this volume integral, we will get the total energy of conductor. After we got total energy of conductor, we can find its inductance, its own inductance, not the inductance between two conductors. Here is how you calculate inductance of a conductor using this formula. So firstly we will find our B. How do we find our B? Well, we found it using Ampere's law. Well, firstly we will close our contour with radius R and in this is our surface R. This is the magnetic field B and DL. So we get that integral B dl over closed circle over closed contour C is equal to 0 times sum of I or mu 0 times integral B dS because we are inside a conductor we must use this term we are not outside so that our closed contour uh, has a complete current that this conductor is under our closed is completely under our closed contour inside of our closed contour. So here the product of two vectors we will get B integral over closed circle DL which is equal to me zero times very times DS. What is DS? Well you can calculate you can write it right away ds of a circle in previous one of in previous videos i showed you how to determine how what is ds but uh, in this task the current is uniform so j is a constant we can put it in front of integral so j times integral ds over surface s so here we will get b times l which L is the length of our closed contour, but the radius of our closed contour is R, so it is 2R pi, which is equal to me 0 times J, is the current density. The current is uniform for all cross section, so it is calculated as a current divided with the total surface area of a conductor cross section. This is total surface of R. So the radius is A, so its surface is A squared times B. And here we have integral of dS. Integral of dS of surface S is S. But what's this surface? This is the surface created with our closed contour. So its radius is R, which means this is R squared B. So from here we will once again get that B is equal me 0 i times r 2 p a squared so this is our b when we put this b inside of this we will get that our energy density of magnetic field is equal to the me 0 i squared times R square divided with a p square and to the fourth. Okay. Now we need to calculate total energy. 
how will we calculate total energy? Well, only total energy of conductor must take into consideration complete conductor, and conductor has its volume. So we put this inside a formula. We will get mi zero i square r square a e square times r plus four. But what is our dv? It means infinitely small volume. Yeah. Well, you can once again we can calculate that using the formula for volume. What do we have? What is our conductor? Our conductor is actually a cylinder. What is the volume of a cylinder? Well, it is a base times the height. What is the base? The base of cylinder is a circle, which means it is uh, r square times p. That is the base times the height. Only here we use the length. We will say that the height of the conductor is actually the length. So, how do we calculate the volume? Well, we simply find the derivation of volume. One way of writing the derivation is this, but actually this is equal to the d infinitely small part of volume divided with infinitely small part of r. So, what is the derivation of this? We know this is 2 r phi times and from here, dv divided by dr is equal to this, we can multiply both sides with dr, and we will get that our elementary volume, infinitely small volume, is actually 2r5 times l times dr. You could also, with logic, originally determine what is dv, infinitely small part of volume. And we put this here, 2r5 l times dr. Because our variable is r, which is a distance, which is a radius, r starts from zero, from the center, and it ends here, which is a, the radius of our conductor. And when you solve this integral, you will get that this is mi zero i square m. 16 p. After we have found the energy of complete conductor, we can calculate inductivity, where inductivity is 2 times the volume of square, and we will get that our inductivity is mi 0 L which is the length of conductor and we need also to find inductance per length of conductor how do you find that? well simply divide, we will divide this with L so L I am using this notation you can use any notation you want it's actually inductance divided with length of our conductor and it will be mi zero divided with fp and the unit is of course Henry per meter so that would be it thank you for watching see you in the next video